you're not going round. Let's see if that affects Caraballo tonight. What is it? You definitely, that gym work, you definitely need to. It's very physical. Let's see if he can use it against Caraballo. This is the that's second. Exact, Go ahead, that's the exact same way Caraballo fights. You can't beat him, join him, I guess. Yeah, that was produced off a of faint. Jonas Sultan in the black trunks pushing forward out of the Philippines against the Puerto Rican Carlos Caraballo. Red and white trunks. Nice quick hands from Caraballo, but then he gets caught to the body by Jonas Sultan. And now down goes Caraballo. Hey, he looks a lot more polished. And this is this is time for Caraballo to respond. Both That's what this fight was all about. Training leather. He's ever fought. Yeah, he's a nice left there by Caraballo who has been down against Pedro Rodriguez once before. I want you guys at home to pay attention when Carabao, when he throws a combination, he lifts his head up. Again, it's the patience. It's the patience. Ooh. That's another knockdown for Jonas Sultan for the second time in this fight by Jonas Sultan. Who's coming in for the finish with a vicious uppercut? Leonardo gut check. That's what it's all about. Let's slip. No knockdown. No knockdown. Sice attacks by Sultan. That's what's giving him problems. Patient. It's not reckless aggression. He's pressing forward, inching closer and closer, and definitely see improvement. You can tell he's thinking. And Sultan allowing his punches to do the oh. talking. And there goes Caraballo with a good close to that round. Oh, oh, oh. And they're calling it a knockdown. Absolutely. But you can do it. You're going to be thinking about it. And Sultan is still coming forward, Landon. Oh. Because he's 14 and 0 with 14 knockout. He's patient. He's not one of those guys that's enamored with his punching power. He's okay. Fighter rings. His philosophy for, philosophy for this fight was winning round. I'm going to take it. That's what he said in terms of how he's going to win this fight. Is now both fighters exchange right in the center of the ring. Mm. One, two. He's made the adjustment. Get you back, Sultan up. Oh, Don't nice left Sultan. hook. Yeah. Caraballo finding a home for that left hand. And here comes the outstop from the Puerto Rican who gets the crowd hyped up here. Caraballo warned for a low blow. And then he goes to the head. As With the jab, when you're trying to set up your offense, you got to regroup. And here we go. The crowd is on their feet. Very nice stick, but see, anytime Caraballo early on in Manny Pacquiao's career, back him up. Yes. That's not helping him right now, Bernardo. Yeah. He's breathing pretty hard, too. Ooh, nice left from Caraballo. The one thing that's improved, too, in Jonas Sultan, his defense. footwork right there from Carbio. And that combination was set up by that footwork. But they, it's early to go to that well, isn't it? Round number six. <laughs> Usually we hear that really late in the fight, Dre. <laughs> Gotta tell them how they can win the fight. Give them some oh! And maybe that's exactly what Jonas Sultan needed. And he's hurt. You see a little momentum shift and then boom. All it takes is one punch. That's the beauty about boxing. It really just started. And it's new territory after this round four. The Sultan has been 12 four times. He's in against a hard puncher, Jonas Sultan, who's a stalker, who's on him right now. And will be in uncharted territories when the bell rings for round number seven. Right down the middle. Boom. Short, tight, precise punch by Sultan. Change knockdowns, it was still a round that favored Jonas Sultan. Ooh. Keep boxing, use your jab, and stay out of the damn corners. That Carabao needs to move. He needs to move to his right. And I'll tell you another thing. Over the top and catch Carabao. And if Carabao, if he continues to move that way and keep his head. Mm. Nice left once again from Caraballo. Just when you think he's out of it, here he comes with his money shot. That left hook that lands repeatedly on the...
that left hook. And now right hand and down he goes. Ooh, Sultan was down from a two punch combination. And so it doesn't really matter what we saw. It's what Johnny Collis saw. And that's a good shot from Caraballo with the left. Sultan is looping his shots. Great spot for Caraballo to take advantage of that like he does there with the left hook. Caraballo has now made Sultan bleed from the right cheekbone, and now it's Caraballo who slips after landing a big shot. One, two from Caraballo. He's found a second win, and he's making yeah, Sultan oh pay goodness. for the three visits to the canvas. He's going for it. He's going for it, Bernardo. Sultan's right hand doesn't have that same crisp power behind it, but Caraballo's left does. Two rounds. He'd never been past six. What was going to be his reaction? And in the last three rounds. There it is once again. And Sultan reeling backwards. Okay, once again, their feet get tangled. It happens all the time. On the same side. Nice left uppercut from Caraballo. So much so where he doesn't feel comfortable coming forward. Oh, like but down goes Caraballo once again. Yeah. When he was having his best moment. Oh, There's Jonas Sultan walking down Carlos Caraballo here. Jonas Sultan has proven... I mean, Sultan has every punch in the arsenal, but here comes Caraballo. Well, there's a nice right hand. There's always an answer to what Caraballo has, and that left round number 10. Didn't check for me that he's checking right now. I mean, 118 is full of killers. Naoya Inoue, Nonito Donaire, John Riel Casimero, who's Ubali, Jason Maloney, Takuma Inoue. Rigondeau, next level stuff, guys. And all them boys can punch. Yes. <laughs> Uppercut, Caraballo had never been past six rounds, and he's really been in this fight, and it's just been those slight mistakes that Sultan's been able to take advantage of that mark a huge difference in this fight. Guys, it's been a theme all night long.